Well, I forgot to turn the microphone on, so this video is going to be done with a voiceover. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is how you can cut a truss rod slot using a table saw. The basic trick is that if you take a block of wood and feed it through a table saw and then reverse it and cut again, you end up with a slot that's perfectly centered. The block of wood I have in my hand there is harvested from the neck blank. And when you set this up, the width of the block that you're using to test your slot has to be exactly the same as the final width of the neck blank. This is because the width itself helps determine the position of the cuts as you go through the table saw. So um, it's a very careful setup and you need to check it on your scrap before you cut your neck, but with a lot of care you can get a very accurate slot. Um, actually you have to cut the center out first because the table saw blade is not wide enough to get the whole slot at once and if you do the sides of the slot first you'll end up with a little tiny piece of wood in the middle that you need to cut off after. Here I am checking the depth of the cut and I don't show cutting the uh, show checking the uh, the width of the slot but believe me I, I checked it very carefully before I cut my neck. So here I am putting it through one direction, reversing, putting it through in the other direction. And there's my truss rod slot and with the truss rod lying nicely there, happy and content. Now I'm going to talk about how I use a belt sander to level and flatten the top of the peg head. So before, in the other section of the video, the top of the peg head actually was, was not cut off. So I've got the peg head band sawed off and it's very rough. And I'm talking here about it's about a half inch thick and a lot of times you have a taper, especially for old time banjos. And um, when you are sanding, uh, you use a coarse belt and um, you wanna keep that part parallel there that I just showed and I'm talking about the volute there for some reason but anyway um, the uh, the part by the nut has to be 90 degrees to the neck blank and as you sand you have to keep checking those two things check the end and check the area around the nut to make sure it's 90 degrees when you start sanding start at the far end of the peg head because it doesn't matter if that gets rounded over that'll get cut off anyway if you start sanding by the uh, the, the nut area uh, if you round that over, it's going to make a problem. And by varying your pressure, you can actually uh, get more off of either one end or one side or the other. And you've got to keep checking and just, you know, be aware of what's happening. Other than that, you can usually get a very good result without much trouble. Thank you.